Want to optimize your Excel experience? Check out these two must-have features that you can turn on and enable on your Excel toolbars. If you aren't already using these, you'll definitely want to start. I'm going to show you two very helpful things that you can turn on and enable on your toolbars in Excel that will really help you optimize Excel. So I've highlighted the first column of my report and that's employee ID number. So you'll see that that's just an employee ID number that identifies the employee perhaps in your HRIS system. I'm going to come down here and right click my mouse. It's going to open up the customized status bar. And I want to make sure that I have the average count and sum selected. That means that anytime I highlight a column in Excel that has numbers and information in it, I'll see the average, the count, and the sum. So the sum right now with an employee ID number uh, doesn't mean much to me, but the count that's down here is very helpful. This is telling me I have 119 employees listed on my report. And I know that because I know that it's also counting any cell that has data in it. So I do not want it to count the header row, so I subtract one. So I know that my count for my head count on this report is 119 employees. The next thing I want to show you is up here on the quick access toolbar. I want you to drop down, click on more commands, and then you're going to drop down here and select all commands. And we're going to look for one that's called document location. So we're going to scroll down here and select document location, click add and OK. And you'll see what that does is it adds a box up here that's going to have the file path for your saved document. And the reason that this is so helpful is let's say, let's select in there, we click our cursor in there, hit control C to copy. And let's say we want to email someone on our team, say hi Denise, the file is saved at and then we hit control V to paste it's gonna show the person on your team there may be a shared drive that you have that that everyone in your office or everyone on your team has access to it's gonna show them the file path and then the last part of it is gonna show them the title of that document so you can email this to them you can format it so that it's easy to read and say hey here's the file path here's where to go to access that saved document and this way you don't have to email the actual attachment it saves you from the storage space on your email servers from having to actually attach that document and email it and it also um, it, it saves you from having to attach something that may have confidential information in it it's a nice way that you can quickly and easily cut and paste and copy where the, that file is saved. So that is called document location and it's up here on your quick access toolbar. Now you know how to turn features on and off, so be sure to use these customizations on your toolbar and play around with the other options. Set it up just how you like it so it'll work best for you. Visit my website at SharonSmithHR.com. You can download a free quick reference guide with very helpful spreadsheet formulas for, in Excel for HR professionals. Subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below. Let me know what other content you'd enjoy seeing. Thank you.